Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Also, this is what we're watching today. We're watching Dangerous Worker Mistakes Caught on Camera. And by the look of the start of this, it doesn't look that good. It doesn't look dangerous. It looks more funny. <laughs> boop, boop. Crane in the Galapagos Islands that wanted to go for a swim. And a methane explosion in China that sent oh these workers <clears throat> running for cover. To a forklift driver who learned how fragile a pallet full of beer bottles is. And beer bottles. Glass beer bottles too. Most expensive worker mistakes caught on camera. If something interesting having when I'm over Canada there, I'll make a YouTube video about it. And town Sweet. In Gujarat, Western India. It's about 256 miles from the Karachi port in Pakistan and 430 miles in Pakistan. From the port in it was built in the late 1950s and operates as the chief seaport for Western India. Today, it's one of the highest earning ports in the country. Major imports include oil, chemicals, iron, and steel machinery. But on August 26th of 2023, the port of Kandla decided to put one of those machines back on the boat. They used a giant crane to lift a smaller hydro crane. <laughs> that crane is going to snap. Then, catastrophe struck at the height of its climb. That, that crane is going to snap in three, two, one. Come on. It's going to fall. It's, it's bound to top. There it is. Not, but did a little backflip and all. The crane nearly did a complete front flip before landing <laughs> in a pile of dust. According to commenters, the rear strap was carrying way too much weight. Though anybody with a pair of eyes could tell you that. From Definitely. what we can tell, no ages, thank you for the lyrics, dude. Workplace accident. The crane was probably a lost cause. That would be half a million. Probably, yeah, I don't know. It's a critical aspect of transportation. Plus tax. must carefully plan each route so their drivers don't wind up causing a major traffic accident. That's a big-ass road. They're just worried about the roof of the truck. Take this flatbed in Italy, for example. It was March 1st of 2022. Our driver was towing an excavator across the Italian countryside when he came upon a low-clearance bridge. In his defense, he assumed the pre-planned route meant that he was good to drive under. After this, costly oh, mistake, I think I've seen the angry this. Italian man behind him had some choice words. That's not. That's not how that works. Diretta davanti a me, direttissima. Io l'avevo visto. Sapevo che qua c'era il cavalcavia basso. Dio canta. Mm. The crash ripped the cab clean off the excavator. We imagine the driver stopped shortly after, but it's hard to see anything through that giant cloud Clearly. of dust. Thankfully, the bridge didn't collapse or appear to be compromised. Several cars drive across, probably without any idea of what just happened. Imagine the, the truck, the, bed if the trucker, the machine on a just keeps cloud. going. All he'd have to do is extend the arm enough that it's below the truck cab. Slap an oversized load sticker on that bad boy and be a little extra careful. <laughs> the Galapagos Islands, a stunning spot in the South Pacific where Charles Darwin famously coined his theory of evolution. Unfortunately, <laughs> climate change has gotten to them over the years. They're among the most heavily sea affected turtles. places on Earth, and things were about to get worse on December 23rd of 2016. A barge had pulled up and docked at San Cristobal Island, the furthest east of the Galapagos. A crew was tasked with loading a shipping container onto the barge oh. with a crane. Someone must have miscalculated because the next thing they knew, the crane was going overboard. <laughs> yeah, the crane forgot how to hold it down. <laughs> Great. Watch how the crane slides off the dock and smashes into the container. It didn't take yeah. long for the crane's weight to drag the boat down to Davy Jones's locker. Unfortunately, <laughs> the ship had 2,200 liters of oil when it sank. Ooh. While nobody was injured during the collapse, plenty of oil leaked into the water. At the time, they weren't sure how much. San Cristobal Island is known for its unique wildlife. From marine iguanas and giant tortoises to sea lions and rare finches, 
This workplace mistake may have cost much more than money. Who do I have in my head? No one, it's just little slime boy. Qingyuan, China is a prefecture level city in Guangdong province. It's home to nearly 4 million people and a group of workers who learned how flammable methane is. It was April 13th of 2021. A crew had arrived to do some live painting on the sidewalk. For whatever reason, this particular area was full of manhole covers, seven by our count. Seven, All seemed geez. to be going fine. Then, something started rumbling underground. Now, we're not sure what they're painting these lines for. It looks like they use the same machine to draw the parking spots in the background. Our worker moves to the next outline and begins painting. He finishes the second line and takes a few steps back. Then, a freak explosion sends a manhole cover 20 feet into the air. Oh, According Jesus. To reports, a road crew was applying asphalt to the road when a rogue spark fell into the sewer. It ignited the methane wow. inside and triggered this chain reaction. Now, methane is a common gas in septic systems. It forms septic. when natural material decays. It can create an explosive mixture in the air at levels as low as 5%. Methane is normally odorless. You can only smell it when the gas company adds hydrogen sulfide, giving it that rotten egg smell. Okay. You took a shot of Jägermeister this morning? Jeez. Beer and forklifts shouldn't go together. Why would Just you have that the first thing in the morning? Workers who learned that lesson the hard way. On December 1st of 2007, a forklift operator got himself into a tight spot. From the looks of things, he accidentally backed into a pallet full of empty beer bottles. Now came the delicate process of wiggling himself out. Let's see if he pulls it off. He's not going to. He's stuck like Austin Powers. And I hope everyone knows that reference. Oh my god. It was 6 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing having Jägermeister well, at 6 o'clock in the morning? Expect, didn't it? According to the original post, this kind of accident is common in this particular warehouse. You would think that they would learn to shrink wrap the bottles instead of stacking them like a delicate house of cards. It did make for a pretty satisfying sound though. Thankfully, <laughs> the forklift's cab protected the driver from falling glass. Yeah, he's now lucky. came the hard part of telling their boss what happened. Yeah, that's not the fun part. Morning drink. No, my morning drink is like water or coffee. It's a small community in Northern Illinois. It's home to about 32,000 people, some of whom used to work at the Grecian Delight food processing plant. We say used to work because a gas explosion in 2017 put many of them out of a job. It began around 6.04 a.m. on July 7th of 2017. A contractor was working in the engine room when he noticed the smell of ammonia. You'd easily recognize its pungent odor, especially if it were leaking from a pipe. The contractor notified maintenance, who sent a crew down 15 minutes later. But the maintenance worker didn't smell anything out of the ordinary, though he looks like an older gentleman whose nose may have stopped working a while ago. The contractor <laughs> came back working. around 6.48. By now, the smell was overwhelming. He could clearly see where gas was leaking from a pipe and hightailed it out of there. It didn't take long for the engine room to fill with toxic ammonia, eventually blocking our camera. How now, bad is ammonia? 100 employees had evacuated the building. They could see smoke coming from inside when a fire broke out around 7 a.m. Then, a minute later, it went kaboom. The oh. first and second exterior cameras were damaged in the blast. Well, it's Thankfully, flammable. The third caught the whole thing. It didn't help that the only place to run was a busy highway. Investigators determined that a faulty quarter-inch valve caused the ammonia leak and explosion. They're not sure what sparked the blast, though. Only one plant employee suffered minor burns. A firefighter was also sent to the hospital for heat exposure. As of August of 2018, Grecian Delight estimates it lost $26 million between damage, That's lost a lot of dollars. and other vendors who assisted with the recovery. Unfortunately, their insurance company refused to pay their claims. Wow. Bridges are built to last, but they're not built to Normally. last forever. 
In fact, the oldest bridge in the world is the Arkadiko Bridge in Argolis, Greece. Really? It was built okay. by the Mycenaean Greeks during the last phase of the Bronze Age between 1300 to 1190 BCE. Most bridges reach a point when you need to tear them down and build a new one. But just because it's made of rocks and clay doesn't mean any Joe Schmo can destroy it. Take this excavator driver who might be the dumbest worker in the world. You know those cartoons of people sawing the branch they're sitting on? That's this guy. And while he had the right idea, he had the wrong position. As soon as the bridge collapsed, his excavator <laughs> went down with it. Look at how the excavator fell. There was enough room to drive up to the bridge from the underside while keeping a safe distance. Yeah. We imagine they didn't have a crane or the ability to lower and raise the machine into the canal. Oh well, better luck next time.